Well, this is pretty exciting. If you are just stumbling onto this video and you haven't seen any of the lead up videos up until this point, you probably want to stick around because a few months worth of work went into creating what you're about to watch here. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be testing lightweight concrete for, for the, the strength that we are able to achieve versus a full strength, full weight concrete product here. And it should be really interesting to see what we can achieve in terms of a strength to weight ratio using a various amount of lightweight aggregates and different lightweight concrete mixes. It will be very interesting to see, or if you're a concrete nerd, nerd like me, you're going to find this pretty interesting. Stick around. I'm so excited, I don't know where to start. Okay, well, let, first things first, this is just mortar. This is our control block or control brick here. And let's just talk a little bit about the setup that, that we have. What we're going to be doing today, the best thing, we're breaking things. Okay, so what I have is a 28 inch span, and that's what you see here, 28 inch span. And the test block that you're looking at is a one inch thick piece of mortar. It's concrete essentially, three parts sharp sand to one part Portland cement. And it's pretty strong. Like I've been looking at this thing as it's been curing for a month here and just wondering, I wonder if it's gonna be strong enough for me to stand on this. Like, I mean, it kind of looks like it. Um, we'll see, there's no steel reinforcement of any kind in this, this is just the concrete mix itself. Uh, a few of the mixes that we did for light, various lightweight uh, mix designs incorporated fibers into the mix, fiberglass, and that does increase the tensile st strength somewhat, kind of like steel does, but there is no steel. No steel in this control block and no steel in any of the lightweight prototypes that we're gonna be testing. Testing and breaking today. So let's go ahead and get started. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna weigh the piece first, see how much it weighs, record that on the chart here, and then I'm gonna try to break it. And best of all, it's gonna be super dangerous. Doesn't that sound interesting? I might even get hurt. This is fantastic, stay tuned. So I'm going to put a five gallon bucket right here and I'm gonna to start to add weight to it. And I'm gonna keep adding weight to it. And eventually, this block will break. When it breaks, I'm going to weigh the material that I've added to these buckets to see how much weight was this one inch piece, uh, one inch thick piece of concrete spanned at 28 inches, how much was it able to take before it breaks? I think it's gonna be a lot. And what makes it really interesting is I'm doing it on the counter here so that you can see along with what I'm doing when really I should be doing this on the floor because it's gonna probably take a whole bunch of weight to break this thing. And then it's gonna fall suddenly and I have to catch it and you get to watch the whole thing. Okay, so let's get started. Ooh, that's heavy. Twenty six pounds even. I believe it. It's heavy. We've got pencil lines here to make sure that I test each of them equally. Any guesses? How much weight do you think that this will be able to take before it breaks? I'm guessing over 100 pounds for sure. And I'm using sand to fill these buckets up, to add weight to this, to, to load, add some load bearing. And I think it's gonna take easily two buckets of sand, and that's about 100 pounds, just over 100 pounds with the slightly damp sand that I'm working with. But we'll add it slowly bit by bit. Hopefully when it finally breaks, if it finally breaks, if I'm able to add enough weight to it, because if it, if it will hold 200, 250 pounds, I'm not gonna be able to get enough weight onto this, I'm gonna to have to abandon probably at two buckets, like 120 pounds or so. If it if it makes it that far, well, that's good information right off the bat. I doubt any of the lightweight mixes that we made would, would be able to bear that much weight. Uh, but this control block might, and if it does, I'll probably switch it down to the floor because I actually don't wanna get hurt doing this or break any of my equipment here. Uh, but I do wanna find out how much weight it can take before it breaks. So, I mean, let's just give it a try, get started here. 
So I have a center point marked so I can at least try to make sure the weight is evenly distributed. That's it there. Okay. I mean, at first here, this is just going to be boring because I'm going to have to fill this whole bucket and then probably another one. But let's just get started. As I go, I'm going to do my best to not let the sand fall and hit because that impact would create a dynamic force load different than what I'm trying to test for. So to the best of my ability, I'm just going to be gentle as I drop the, this sand in. I do have uh, some block spacers underneath of this and that's so that when it breaks, it doesn't have to drop this far. I'll show you what I've got here. Just little pieces of two by four, which are, I don't know, three quarters of an inch uh, lower. And again, so hopefully it kind of breaks and I have a chance to catch the buckets before it just falls over and then you all get to laugh at me and stuff. You wouldn't do that. Laugh at my pain. I hesitate to throw out a guess as to what this is going to take, but I'm going to say it's going to take at least 150 pounds, maybe 200 pounds. It's only one inch thick. I mean, that's not very much. I forgot to tell you, if you watch a lot of my videos, you know that uh, I have a broken tendon in this hand, so this hand can't do anything. It's basically just here for ornamental purposes only. Uh, so that makes it all the more fun as I fill this up and then it goes to break. I can't even catch it or touch it with this hand, lest I be concerned of re-damaging this injury. So I have to do it all with one hand. This is going to be great. So far, so good. It's about half a bucket. Half a bucket represents 25 to 30 pounds of this particular sand with this amount of water retained in it. I don't feel like that's very much for this, this concrete structure, but you never know. Like there's no steel reinforcement in here. It wouldn't take a lot. It's quite a large span and it's pretty thin. Try to make sure that that sand remains even in there so it's a level load. I mean, really, it could break at any time. Gotta be at least 40 pounds in this bucket now. We're gonna weigh it afterwards, assuming I can catch it before it falls over. I am assuming I can catch it before it falls over, so we'll see how that works. Are you getting nervous for me yet? I'm nervous for me. You should be nervous for me. I think it'll take this whole bucket without breaking. That's what I think. But we will see. So far, so good.
I don't think I want to add a third bucket here. I think I'm asking for trouble. Okay. I'm going to stop there. Because as I suspected, it's been able to take two buckets. Approximately two buckets. This is going to be over 100 pounds. Probably. Oh! I mean, I wasn't scared. You were totally scared, but I wasn't. Well, that was literally a best case scenario right there. Because it certainly wasn't the action of me dropping the sand in that caused the break. Other than the reverberations of my sweet baritone voice, I don't see how I could have influenced that at all. And for what it's worth, it's cracked, I mean, a half inch off from the dead center mark, so... I'm actually really interested in that. Like, I thought it would take a little more, but then again, we had nothing here, right? There was nothing at all in terms of tensile reinforcement or steel reinforcement of any kind. Very exciting. Let's go ahead and weigh up these two buckets here and see what it took. <laughs> They're pretty heavy, right? Light as a feather. Oh. One. Okay. See what we got. <sighs> this scale is giving me trouble. Let's try it again. You have to hold it super steady. Thank you. 46 even. Nice round number. Okay, and now we'll weigh the other one. Forty seven point nine four. Forty seven point nine four. Like, can we call that forty eight? I'm going to call that forty eight. I was going to put ninety four point oh, but we'll just call it ninety four. <sighs> Interesting. Almost four times its weight. So that's you know, a strength to weight ratio of almost four. Um, I don't know if we're going to be able to get any of the lightweight concretes to have a four multiplier for a strength to weight ratio. Some of them are pretty light, but that took a lot of weight, like comparatively to what I think these lightweight mixes are going to take. Because remember, we're only at one inch thickness. Like that's super thick. What application are you doing one inch thickness across a span for with no reinforcement with a lightweight mix? None. But it is a great point of reference if we want to discover the different breaking points or the different limitations of lightweight concrete mix designs. I hope you'll stay tuned.